Although there might be a slight edge in size here at the tip for Georgia. In general, Georgia has the size advantage. The size advantage and the depth advantage. I think we'll be on full display this afternoon for the UGA team. It's Diamond Battles and Brittany Smith are the transfers. There's another transfer, Audrey Warren from Texas. Georgia Tech gave up over 20 offensive boards, but somehow won the game. Inside, nice layup there from Tony Morgan. Broken 0 for 3 stretch from the field to start the game for Tech. Oblivious to the fact that she's going into crazy acrobatic positions. Well, Nell Fortner <laughs> said, we need to get out and transition to help our offense. And Tony Morgan didn't just take it hard. Morgan inside. Here's a 3. It's good. Cameron Swartz hits her first triple of the game. Bianca Jackson. Georgia Tech moving with a little bit of pace as Jackson pulls up and connects. 7-0 run for the Yellow Jackets. Going the other way, Diamond Battles. Lob to the front court, picked off by Bianca Jackson. Jackson carrying it up, the point guard into the key. And that's four points for the Florida State transfer. Well, Nell Fortner told us. Bounce inside, turnaround Smith, her first bucket. Cross-court pass, tipped away by Love on a fast break. Warren chasing her down, and that's a bucket for Lily Love. Two steals and 12 points in the last game for Georgia Tech. There's a turnover, though, and Battles is out and running. Chased down by Morgan. Nice up, under, and up again to make it an 11-9 game. All sorts of discombobulated right now. Here's Swartz, who's hit a three today. Over to Jackson. She likes the mid-range, goes inside. Hermoso with her second bucket how much they turned the ball over. I expected a much improved Georgia Tech team here today, and so far, um, they're proving me correct. Offensive board for Georgia, though. Inside the bucket's good for Savannah Henderson. Progressed a little bit in the second quarter of those games. Here's a kick to Swartz, hit a three in the first quarter. There's another one in the second, six point. Veteran play from the freshman. Nicholson dumps it inside to Smith. It carries back to Nicholson. Now we'll pull up deep to Zoesha Smith connects. Brunswick, Georgia native with her first bucket of the game. Mel Fortner's former school, plus it was the first win in five tries. Poke away for Morgan all alone, and that's an easy two. Another run out for Georgia Tech. Lewis running the point against Cam Swartz. Gets around her, bounce inside. Easy for Smith, missed the open layup, and the follow is good. Combined between these two teams, only 11 total players have had any taste of this rivalry. So it's new for a lot of young players on the floor today. Jackson. Tipped away. Her was running Smith. Battles kick out. Zoesha Smith hit the ring. Picked up by Battles, who's trying to initiate. Back to Lewis. Into the middle. Smith. Lob down low. Isaacs with the left. A really important minute here for Georgia Tech. I'm not saying they have to take the lead, but they just got to get under control here going into halftime. Kick to the corner, three on the way. Jackson stuck it. Five point lead for Georgia is its largest as they thought there was a travel there from Jackson. Nice pass from Morgan down low to Schwartz. She snuck behind the defense. I was going to say, same play by UGA, just ran to the other side. This time, Georgia Tech defends it. Zoisha Smith fouled as she goes up, and they'll count the bucket. She's putting it all together here this evening. Smith knifes through, kick out, now bounced inside. Isaacs, the last bucket already gave her a season high. Now she's up to 10, building on it. Knowing that Jordan Isaacs was closer and feeding her with that assist. And now a steal. Smith 2 on 0. Oh, she'll lay it in herself. She's doing a good job. She's a body down low who's strong, knowledgeable. This is a senior for UGA. I just, it's what we expected though in the paint. We expected Georgia to dominate, and right now they're plus 16. Georgia Tech hanging in. They're only down a point in this quarter. It's been a 14-13 advantage for Georgia. The quarter makes it 16-13 with Zoesha Smith adding to her point total. Now 13. I was going to go crazy as Schwartz and pulled that second shot. She got the ball at the free throw line off a loose ball. Thought about it, but then wisely kicked it out. Carter who kept the possession. And the rebound goes to Zoesha Smith. Two on one. Georgia battles to her left. Smith goes herself and finishes. She's missed three field goals in a row, nearly had another steal though, and comes down hard.
a little slow to get up. Georgia with numbers, battles into the lane, blocked! Second time that Swartz has got her today. Shot clock going down, I'm not sure Georgia Tech realized that. Yeah, it was down to 10 seconds about. Here's Zoisha Smith, skips into the lane and lays it in uncontested. Zoisha Smith on a career high point day, extends it to 19. The screen calls her number and just misses her first points of the year, but the follow is in. That's Brittany Smith on the glass, she's up to eight. Bianca Jackson to the hole, a little bit too soft. Zoisha Smith out and running. Smith has 21 points and the layoff there to Brittany Smith, who's up to 10. And I think just uh, today, she's been on the offensive glass, which is just pure effort. And as I said, has been unchecked a lot of the time. Nice pass inside, Javin Nicholson with her first bucket. It forces not only physical fatigue, but mental fatigue. And we've seen some of the careless passes at times that's hurt Georgia Tech. Their great effort. One of two makes it a 10-point game. Georgia Tech still has a chance, but a lob inside. Isaacs with a new career high in points, up to 12. She's missed only one. Because you're just never able to relax, which is very different if you haven't gone against that night in and night out. Good steal for Jackson. Speeds to the lane. Aviance Carter. Bang! Second three of the game for Cook. And this is what's tough to defend UGA in late game situations. If Lewis is on the floor too, you virtually have two point guards on the floor for UGA. This young lady has done nothing but make an impact on the floor throughout her UCF career. A former Syracuse player as well, who had a huge year there before transferring to UCF. I mean, the young lady's just talented. For Coach Aben, her first year too, this has got to be a big win, taking out a rival early on. It's, it's an easy bucket for Brittany Smith. What a performance it was from the post players of UGA. And now they get to make it known here in the Camish Pavilion. Georgia wins. They move to 5-0. and And Coach Abe is victorious in this in-state rivalry.